Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Azure Data Engineering Roadmap at Simply Learn. In this video, we are going to guide you through the steps to become a proficient Azure Data Engineer. Whether you are a beginner looking to enter the field of data engineering or an experienced professional seeking to specialize in Azure Data Solutions, this roadmap will provide you with the structured approach to build your skills and expertise. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Now, before we move on, just a quick info, guys. You can transform your career with the Cloud Architects Master Program from Simply Learn. In this course, you are going to learn about AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. You will master the architectural principles, services of the top cloud platform, design, deploy highly scalable, fault-tolerant application, and develop skills to transform your career in this domain. Now, before we move on and begin with our roadmap tutorial, let us discuss our agenda for today's session. So we are going to start our session with an introduction to what is a data engineer. Moving ahead, we are going to learn about what does a Azure data engineer do. Then we will learn about why to choose this field. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with a discussion on roadmap to become a data engineer. So guys, let's start with what is a data engineer? So guys, a data engineer is a professional who specializes in designing, implementing, and managing data solutions. In this case, they will be using Microsoft Azure Cloud Services. Basically, they are responsible for building scalable and reliable data pipelines, data warehouses, and analytic solution on the Azure. I hope so, you would have got a brief idea regarding what is a data engineer. Now you would be wondering, what does an Azure data engineer do? So guys, the key responsibility of an Azure data engineer includes, first one is architecting data solutions. It means that you are going to design data architectures and solution using Azure services, such as Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, Azure SQL Database, Azure Cosmos DB, and others. Next one is building data pipelines. You're going to develop data pipelines to ingest processes and transform data from various sources into Azure data stores, data warehouses, or data lakes. Third one we have all over here is data transformation and ETL. You're also going to perform data transformation like cleansing, enrichment, using Azure services like Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, or Azure Function. Next one we have all over here is monitoring and optimization. You're going to monitor the performance availability and the cost of Azure data solution and optimizing them for scalability, efficiency, and cost effectiveness. These are some of the key responsibilities what an Azure data engineer can do. Now guys, let us move on and discuss that why should you choose this field? Guys, working as an Azure data engineer can be both challenging and fulfilling. As a data engineer, you will play a crucial role in helping companies succeed by providing data solutions. You'll also be collaborating with data scientists, analysts, and decision makers with the information they need to perform their tasks effectively. You'll utilize your programming skills and analytical abilities to create scalable solutions. Now, here are some of the key reasons why I should recommend you to become a data engineer. The first one is, in today's scenario, there is an increasing demand. With increasing adoption of cloud computing and data analytics, there is a high demand for professionals who can design, implement, and manage data solutions on Azure. Next one we have all over here is Microsoft Azure market dominance. This is also one of the reasons why you should join as an Azure data engineer. Guys, Azure is one of the leading cloud platforms globally, which offers a vast ecosystem of services and tools for data engineering. Specializing as an Azure data engineer provides access to a dominant player in the market. Now, third one we have is there is continuous learning. You will have an effective learning curve throughout your career span. Next one we have all over here is data services. Now, if I talk about comprehensive data services, Azure offers a comprehensive suite of data services, including storage, integration, 
warehousing analytics, machine learning, which empowers data engineers to build end-to-end -end solutions tailored to diverse business needs. Fifth one we have all over here is scalability and flexibility. We all know that Azure's scalability and flexibility enables data engineers design highly scalable and elastic solutions that can adapt to changing business requirements and data volumes. Sixth one we have all over here is integration with Microsoft ecosystem. Azure seamlessly integrates with Microsoft suite of products and services allowing organizations to leverage existing infrastructure and technologies effectively. Next one we have all over here is robust security and compliance. Azure provides robust security features and compliance certifications, making it suitable for handling sensitive and regulated data with confidence. Next one we have all over here is lucrative salaries. Do you know friends that Azure data engineers command competitive salaries with average annual earnings ranging from $100,000 to $150,000 in the US. Higher salaries are often attainable with experience, certifications and expertise in Azure data solutions. So guys, becoming an Azure data engineer offers not only the opportunity to work with the cutting edge technology, but also to contribute to organizational success, but also the potential for significant financial rewards and career advancement. So that's why you should join this field. Now let's move on and discuss the most crucial part of this video. That is roadmap to become a data engineer. So guys, here is the roadmap for becoming a data engineer. The first step is building the foundation. Now guys, what are you going to do? You are going to learn the programming languages. Start with Python, SQL, and then learn PowerShell for Azure Automation. Familiarize yourself with the basics of Microsoft Azure, including its services, architectures, and deployment models. And finally, study data structures and algorithms. Understand the fundamental data structures and algorithm as they form the backbone of an efficient data processing. Next step is learning about Azure Data Services. So guys, all you have to do is dive into the Azure Data Services, such as Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, SQL Database, Azure Cosmos, and others. Next one we have all over here is that you have to learn about the database systems. Learn about both relational databases like Azure SQL Database and also NoSQL databases. For example, Azure Cosmos DB. Third one, learn about data warehousing. Understand data warehousing concepts and how to build data warehousing using Azure Synapse Analytics. Fourth one we have all over here is getting expertise in big data technologies such as Azure SG Insight, Azure Databricks for processing and analyzing large volumes of data. And finally, we have all over here is learning about the big data technologies. I hope so, you would have got an idea regarding the step two. Now let's delve into the step three. Third step is developing data engineering skills. Now, what are these skills? First one is you have to learn how to build data pipelines using Azure Data Factory so that you can extract, transform, and load data from various sources. Next one, in this process, you will also have to learn about data integration. You have to understand how to integrate data from an on-premises system like SaaS application and external sources into Azure data solutions. Next one we have all over here is data transformation and ETL. Use Azure Data Bricks, Azure Data Factory, or Azure Functions to perform data transformation, cleansing, and enrichment. And finally, we have all over here is learning about data modeling. This is the most crucial part in enriching your skills as a data engineer. You will learn about data modeling techniques and schema design for optimizing data storage and retrieval in Azure Data Services. So I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea regarding step three. Next step is gain expertise in data analytics and visualization. Learn about analytic services. Explore services such as Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure Analysis Service for performing advanced analytics and building data visualizations. Next is master the tools like Power BI for creating interactive dashboards and report to visualize insights derived from Azure data solutions. This is step four. And the final step is getting certified guys. Attain Microsoft certification 
Consider pursuing certifications like Microsoft Certified Azure Data Engineer Associate, which validates your expertise in designing and implementing data solutions on Azure. And this way, the roadmap gets completed. And after this, apply for jobs, internship on LinkedIn and other job portals. And definitely, you'll be able to become a data engineer. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's video on Roadmap to Become an Azure Data Engineer. Thank you for watching this video. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.